Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I am going to be trying a nail hack that I was tagged in on Instagram. So I will go ahead and pop the video up on screen that I was tagged in. That way you all can see exactly what I'm going to be trying today. So the video, I watched it over and the way the creator or the video that I saw the person doing this, they did do it right on their phone, but I decided that of course I film using my phone and I felt like even if I did use maybe my iPad or something like that, if you were ever younger and would like trace something on an electronic device, I always felt like it would move around on me or it would like go out because I would bump it. So I decided that instead of doing it on my phone, I was going to print the images out and that's exactly what I did. So I just looked up some Christmas doodles on Pinterest and I found what I wanted and I think these are like little calendar doodles for like you can print them out or make stickers and put them on your calendar. But I thought these would be absolutely perfect to do a little Christmas themed nail set and also try out this nail hack. So I hope everything that I said made sense. Basically, I am taking this video um, like nail hack type of thing and doing the same thing. But instead of tracing it on my phone, I just printed out the images. I also did cut out the paper and applied a layer of tape on the top side just to kind of help the ink if I got any like gel on it or if any alcohol got on it, anything like that. If it got wet, I wanted to help try and protect the images just a little bit. So I did just take some clear tape and tape over the top side. You definitely could tape the back side. You could even laminate this. When I am actually going to be drawing, I will also slip these into a little plastic baggie, which you will see me do, and that's just to help protect the paper a little bit more. Now, of course, you can definitely do the same thing as they did in the video and just draw on your phone. But for me, like I said, when I was younger, I used to like trace things on like my iPad and I would just always have the trouble of the image moving around and then I would have to line it up again. So I just felt like the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, would to be printing out the images. So that's what I did, but we're gonna jump right in here. I am gonna be using the Kiara Sky Cover Jelly Tip and all of the products that I do use in today's video will be from Kiara Sky. Some of my favorite products that I'm using off camera, I did go in and size out these nail tips. Kiara Sky is also starting their Black Friday sales, which I will talk about in a little bit here. But off camera, I sized out my nail tips. I also pulled out my mini lamp. That way we can cure these onto our natural nails. And then of course I pulled out the step number three, the builder gel, because this is what I will be using to adhere the nail tips to my natural nails. This is going to be a super quick and easy process. I am just going to be applying the builder inside the full cover nail tip and curing it onto my natural nail. I am not going to go into depth here, but if you do want to see a nail tutorial on how to apply Gel X nails, or if you want to see more um, of these Kiara Sky cover jelly tips, I will have some videos linked up in the cards. That way you can check those videos out. When I pop it into the flash cure lamp, I do about a 15 to 20 second flash cure. I repeat the process to all other nails. And then once I have them all applied, I will do a full 30 second cure in my large nail lamp.
off camera, I did go ahead and go in with my filing and my buffing just because I didn't want it to be a repetitive process. I wanted to focus today's video more on the actual nail hack video and trying out the DIY nail sticker concept. So I just did all of that off camera. These nails look so good. I love the color. I love how they look. Honestly, I could apply a top coat on these and be good to go, but I'm going to be decorating them, them today, trying out the TikTok or Instagram nail hack. I am going to be using the Kiara Sky gel pods. So for all of the drawing and nail art that I'm doing, I will be using those along with the Kiara Sky nail art brushes. Let me just say, if you guys are going to pick up anything from Kiara Sky on this Black Friday sale, highly, highly recommend picking up these gel pods and nail art brushes. They will really change your nail art game. It is insane. They're such good quality products and I just love using them so much. So when I did print out the images, I print them out in three different sizes, a smaller, medium, and a larger size. That way I can kind of decide what I want, like how big I want the image to be. I also pulled out a little flashlight curing lamp, and then I pulled out the gel pod colors that I will be using. You can also see here that I just cut a Ziploc bag in half, and that way I could slip the piece of paper down into the bag, and I would be able to try and avoid ruining the like little Christmas doodles because I want to save these that way I can reuse them. So I'm just going to be doing all of the gel on top of the Ziploc bag. This worked out absolutely perfectly. I did start with a thin layer of top coat. I cured that with the flashlight lamp and then now I'm going in and just tracing. I am starting off with the candy cane so I'm using white and red and also the small liner brush and I'm just going in here and tracing. I will say doing this on camera was actually very difficult. I feel like when I was doing this like off camera and just doing a couple little, um, after I was finished with the nail set, I was kind of playing around with it a little bit. And when I wasn't filming, I felt like that it was so much easier because I didn't have that horrible like glare. When I'm filming, I have my camera set up above me so I can't like stick my head in. I kind of have to keep my head and my eyes away from what I'm doing a little bit more versus if I'm not filming. So I was kind of getting like a glare and it was hard to see where I was painting because I have the image below the Ziploc bag and then I'm trying to go over top of the image coloring it in basically. So I felt like doing this on camera, it was a little more challenging than when I was messing around with it and doing it off camera, just because I could be a little closer to it. But overall, this, I love this hack so much. I have tried it before, but in that video, I just used a plastic bag and freehanded it. I didn't print out any images. So I really like this idea of actually printing out your images and then basically coloring it in like you're coloring in a coloring book. For each color switch, I did cure. And then once I was finished with the entire design, I did do a 15 second cure in my full nail lamp just to make sure everything was cured. And it was looking really good. One thing I will say is when I was doing this, I did just start by applying the nail tips and then I went straight in with doing the like DIY nail art stickers or nail decals. And I have to say, if you're going to try this, doing it like the same way, skip the top coat. I felt like when I applied the layer of top coat to the design, the reason I applied that was so that when I lift up the image, I could lift it at an area where I didn't have to lift on the actual image and bend it or ruin it. But when I did apply the top coat, it was just a lot thicker and made the decal super thick and it made the nails just a little bulky in the end. When I did my thumbnail for a Instagram reel, I ended up not using the top coat. 
and just going in with the gel filling in the image and when I was using my tweezers to peel up the image I just had to be a little more careful so I wouldn't break the sticker or the decal but it kept it super thin. I didn't have any issues with the nail getting bulky because I didn't have that extra layer of top coat on the design to make it thicker. I hope that makes sense, but if you are a little curious, I will be posting the Instagram reel on my Instagram, and I've been trying to keep up with shorts, but I always forget about it, but maybe for this one, I'll try my hardest and also post it here on YouTube as a YouTube short. That way, if you guys don't have Instagram, you can still watch the way I did it for my thumb. I definitely do want to try this again. I think it was super fun. It is also very helpful for getting better at nail art. I feel like with tracing and coloring in the image, you can really improve your line work and just overall your nail art in general. So for all of the designs, I did um, repeat the same process if I wanted to switch out the little like template I'm gonna call it I would just take the one out of the bag and then put in the other one so for the Santa here I wanted it to be a little bigger so I used the printed out template that was just a little bit bigger than the medium sized one and then again I just went in with my top coat I flash cured that and then I'm going in with the colors that I want to use on the actual decal so for this one on Santa I'm of course using the red and the white like I said this was very easy super beginner friendly if you are terrible at doing nail art I 100% recommend trying this but just keep in mind I would skip the top coat step and just go in with your gel polishes it's really going to help a lot especially with applying these decals to the nail because the top coat isn't super bendable or flexible like it's hard to press down into the nail if you skip the top coat step then it's definitely going to be a lot easier to put your sticker on the nail and press it down flat with the top coat I did have a little bit of problems with that and that's why I was saying I wish I would have like done one of these tried it on the nail and then did the rest of the nails the way I did this was I did all of the decals I applied them and then once I realized that they were too thick and a little bulky with the top coat when I was doing my thumbnail as a separate video, I did realize that it was just easier to skip over the top coat in general and just be a little lighter and easier when peeling it up using the tweezers. So there really isn't much for me to explain here. I feel like honestly, it's just kind of watching the process and trying it out for yourself. Um, I feel like this can be perfect. Maybe you can do nail art really good on one of your hands, but then using your non-dominant hand, it's a little harder. So this would be a really great hack for that, or of course, practicing your nail art, or if you just want to try it out because you think it might be just a little easier because you can make the decal and then just automatically apply it to your nail. So I'm going to let this play, but I do quickly want to talk about the Black Friday deals happening on the Kiara Sky website. So Black Friday is here. It's going to be absolutely epic. Starting today, November 22nd at 10 a.m. PST, which that time will, the deals will be available. Black Friday has already started by the time I have this video uploaded all the way through until Monday, November 27th at 11.59 p.m. They are rolling out a jaw-dropping 20% discount on everything across the site. Everything is 20% off. Also, there is no code needed, so you can just jump onto the Kiara Sky website and everything will automatically be 20% off. This is definitely your time if you've been wanting to try Kiara Sky, if you need to stock up on your Kiara Sky supplies, now's your chance. Um, I do recommend a couple of items. I mean, all of their items are amazing quality, the, everything. I would recommend everything. But some items that I'm always reaching for is their jelly tips 
or their Jelly Tips Starter Kit. I've also been really loving their gel pods, the gel pods that I'm using in today's video, along with the nail art brushes. They're really pretty, really good quality. They also have really nice acrylic brushes, acrylic powders, dip powders, um, their nail lamp um, bundle where you can get their nail lamp, dust collector, and nail drill, and you can get it in your favorite color. They do offer pink, blue, white, and purple. I have the blue collection. I absolutely love it. They also have really nice drill bits like the small mandrel, my favorite cuticle ball bit, and the five-in-one drill bit, the drill bit I'm always using to seal in my cuticles when I do full cover nail tips. I definitely recommend checking out their site. They have so many amazing products. I always am reaching for their basics, especially their like nail art brushes and their drill bits. I feel like those are some of the items that I am using on a constant basis. If you also want to step up your game and get a Gel X or a Jelly Tip Starter Kit from them. They have a lot to choose from. They also have a bunch of cover jelly tips that you can choose from, which are the pre-colored nail tips. So they have a lot on sale, everything to be exact, 20% off. I will leave the links to the products that I used in today's video down below in the description box, but they also have so many other items available for that 20% off discount for Black Friday. Again, the dates of this sale will be November 22nd to November 27th at 11.59 p.m. It would mean the world to me if you do purchase anything to shop through my affiliate link. It really does help me out a lot and of course that will be down below in the description box. After I had finished with all of the decals, I now wanted to take a pair of scissors and just take the top coat that I had down for the base layer and I wanted to cut that very close to the actual nail art design that I like colored and drew out. So I was just taking a pair of scissors here and clipping off the top coat. I have seen other people use a base coat or even a matte top coat because it can be a lot thinner, especially a matte top coat. It, so if you do still want to add a base layer, if you're struggling with picking up the decal like with your tweezers and you keep ruining your image, I would say try using a matte top coat first because it is a lot thinner than like say a glossy top coat or even a base coat. I apologize for that. The mailman just pulled up our driveway with some nail goodies and packages for the holidays and my dogs started barking. I didn't even hear them coming up the driveway. So I do apologize that the dogs were barking a little bit or if you heard any music, the mail person was jamming out to their music. But anyways, back to what I'm doing here. I am just cutting out around the image. Like I said, I want to remember Remove as much of that top coat as I can and honestly even with doing this it was still very hard that's why I was saying about if you still want to add like a layer down to make it easier to peel up your image I would recommend using a matte top coat or you can also try using a base coat for my thumbnail like I've mentioned a thousand times already Personally, the next time I try this, I'm just not going to use anything and I am just going to use the actual gel polish because for my thumb when I did it, I did have to be very careful peeling up the image with my tweezers, but other than that, the like it was like a nail decal that just immediately stuck down into the nail and I didn't have to go through the process of applying the base coat and then making sure the little decals were stuck in place and then trying to press them against the nail. I did use some um, clear, what is this stuff called? Um, 
I forget, saran wrap. I used some saran wrap to kind of press down the decals as far as I could like and make them stuck and flat to the nail. This definitely helped out a lot. You can see it made the nail a little bulky but basically I really just had to do this to be able to get the decals to stick down just because how they were just really thick because I had used that top coat. But overall I had so much fun with this nail set. Um, I think the nail set just turned out so good, especially because I was able to draw these images off my nail. I applied them to the nail, and then the finished product, you couldn't even tell. Like, no one is going to be able to know or tell if they're looking at your nails. They would never know that you drew the images, like, on a paper or a ziploc bag and then place them onto the nail no one would ever know it would look like you are an um, amazing at nail art and was able to draw these images on your nails so i definitely think this is a super amazing nail hack especially if you are a beginner you're having troubles with your nail art I 100% recommend trying this there are so many different images that you can print out you can print out even like snowflakes or characters, it would just make doing nail art so much easier. So I just quickly want to explain this again to um, place down the nail decals on my nail. I'm applying some base coat. Before curing that, I will stick the decal down and then I will place the saran wrap on the nail to press the decal flat on the nail. I will hold the saran wrap really tight and cure it in the nail lamp for 30 seconds. And yes, the saran wrap definitely helped. So if your decals do come out a little thick like mine, you can of course use the saran wrap and it will really help press the decal flat to the nail. Now, like I said, because they were a little thick, I did still get some chunky or bulky nails, but I did try to go in with a buffer and try to like slim down the nails a little bit. So to do that, I am going to be taking another layer of base coat, applying that to all of the nails, curing for 30 seconds, and then I will just use some rubbing alcohol to wipe away the sticky layer and a buffer. Now, of course, I'm trying to avoid using the buffer on the actual nail decal because I don't want to file that away, but on like the sides of the nail or on the sides of the decal, I'm really trying my best to get in there with the buffer and just buff the nails just to make them a little smooth and debulk as much as I could. So I did not want to be finished with these nails just like this. I had some other ideas in mind. I wanted to also add on some Christmas lights just to tie everything together. I feel like during the holiday season, little like snowflakes or little dots as snow or even Christmas lights can just really elevate a nail set and just make it a lot more professional and put together and well done. So to fill in the spaces, I am going to be taking the extra long liner and the black gel pod and I'm just going to be going around on the empty spaces on all of the nails and just adding on some lines to act as the string of Christmas lights 
and I'm kind of just doing this and filling in the empty spaces. Just wherever there is an empty space, I'm adding on a line to act as the string for the Christmas lights, and then I will cure these for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. We now need to add on the Christmas lights, so I am going to be using the colors red and green Christmas colors, and I am going to be also taking a dotting tool and just going in and adding some red and green dots throughout the black lines just to really pull it together and make it look like Christmas lights. Once I do have all of my dots on, I will cure for 30 seconds. To fill in the spaces just a little bit more, I'm taking the white gel pod and the um, dotting tool again, and I'm just going to go around and add on some dots to act as like a winter, like snow wonderland type of vibe. So this was just very easy to do. I just added on some dots and cured these for 30 seconds. After I was all finished, I'm now taking the Kiara Sky non-wipe top coat, applying a layer of this to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds. I felt like with this nail set, it did take me a little longer, but that is because I was trying something new. I was also doing a lot more nail art, but I feel like honestly, because I used this nail art hack, it was a lot faster than if I would have freehanded like the candy cane, Christmas tree, reindeer, Santa, and the snowman. If I would have freehanded those on my nails, it would have taken so much longer. It would have been a trial and error process. I would have like drew something on and then I didn't think it would look right. So I would erase it. So doing it on the like stencil and making my own stickers or decals, it was definitely a lifesaver. And then just adding on a little basic nail art like the Christmas lights and the dots, it just really pulled the entire nail set together. After I did have the top coat cured, I pulled out my cuticle oil, I applied that to my cuticles to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of the nails. On my thumb, I did do a stocking and a gingerbread man. And like I said, for the thumb, I did do a little bit of a different process. And the only thing I switched up for my thumb is I didn't apply a layer of top coat before going in and tracing the stencil. I really love how these nails turned out. 
I really want to try this again, maybe even doing like some sort of character because I feel I would never be able to tackle doing character nail art. But maybe if I had a stencil and I could trace things and do it off my nails and then just pick it up and place it onto my nail, maybe I could do that. I don't know, but this nail hack, I 100% recommend you try it out. I feel like it is super fun. You also can like draw out your images and make your own little DIY nail decals or nail stickers and save them for an upcoming nail set that you want to do so you really don't even have to do it all at once just because they need to be applied to your nails just like a regular nail sticker would need to be. But definitely, if you have not tried this, I recommend you do so. You can just look on Google or on Pinterest for some different images that you want. I recommend looking up like doodles or drawings just because that's going to give you the best thing to be able to trace and like fill in with your gel polishes. But I really love how these nails turned out. I will be linking all of the products that I use down below in the description box. Also, do not forget about the huge Kiara Sky Black Friday sales. 20% off everything site-wide. Definitely don't want to miss that. If you do want to purchase anything or if you're taking a look, um, it would really mean a lot to me if you purchased through my affiliate link. But I hope you all do have an amazing and wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow if you are celebrating. I hope you all get to spend some time with your loved ones and your family. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. I hope you all enjoyed today's video as well. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.